Arguably, Skyrim has too many followers. There are 72 in total, and because there are so many companions to choose from, some are inevitably going to be pretty bland. In today's video, I'm going to go over a few NPCs that I think contend for the title of worst follower in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I'll begin by going over some of the least worst followers, before progressing onto those followers I believe are truly abysmal. Like with my last video on who's the best follower in Skyrim, I'm going to be measuring how bad followers are based on the following criteria, their backstory and dialogue, their power and how easy they are to acquire as a companion. So let's begin with some of the stronger contenders on this worst follower list. Koznak is a drunken Breton warrior found at the bar in the Silver Blood Inn. He's easy to acquire as a follower as all you need to do is beat him in a brawl. However, as followers go, he's both weak and bland. He has no interesting backstory whatsoever, simply being a worker for the Arnold Leaf and Sons trading company. His dialogue is also bland. He has nothing interesting or unique to say as you travel around Skyrim. In terms of his power, he's capped at level 30 and he has a moderately leveled one-handed skill. So he's not an awful fighter, but there are certainly much better fighters you can get to follow you. But compared to Roggy Knotbeard, the Nord miner from Kynesgrove, Koznak isn't that bad. Roggy Knotbeard is even weaker than Koznak. His primary abilities are in alchemy, smithing and enchanting, rendering him a comparatively weak fighter even among this list of already weak NPCs. But worst of all is the fact that he runs away if he loses a fight. Where most followers either die or go to their knees, Roggy actually just runs away. His backstory is also bland. The only thing remotely interesting about him is that he's a mead expert, but other than that, he's just a boring miner. Plus, compared to Koznak, he's a harder follower to acquire. You have to retrieve his ancestor's shield to be able to recruit him. But if you thought that Knotbeard was a bad fighter, then get ready for Sven. Sven is the annoying bard from Riverwood you can choose to back in a quest regarding his efforts to woo Camilla. If you do back him, you can access him as a follower, but you'd be mental to actually choose choose him as a companion. If the fact he's wearing just normal clothes doesn't convince you he's not much of a fighter, then the following facts will. Sven is capped at level 20 and his main leveled skills are alchemy, enchanting and smithing. You would honestly be mental if you chose him as a follower, especially as you leveled up in the game, he'd basically be killed in one shot from any enemy. But even worse than Sven is Adelaisa Vendici. Adelaisa is worse because she looks as if she's a warrior, but she really isn't. She wears imperial armour but her class is actually that of a citizen, and she's capped at level 25. Like Sven, her main skills are in alchemy, enchanting and smithing, not in combative abilities. But although she might be moderately more powerful due to her higher level cap, her story is boring even compared to that of Sven, who doesn't have much of one anyway. She has no real unique dialogue and her background is simply that she's a citizen who works for the East Empire Company in Solitude. Plus, her quest is harder than that of Sven's. You have to help her kill the pirate gang, the Blood Hawkers, to attain her as a potential follower. But there are two followers above all the rest that I think contend for the title Worst Follower in Skyrim. Firstly, there's the Reekling Warrior. You can recruit these Reeklings from Thirsk Mead Hall once you've completed the relevant quest and become their honorary chief. However, whilst you might want to get excited about being able to recruit these weird little creatures, the fact is that they're incredibly weak. The highest level Reekling is level 23. This automatically means that they're going to be out of their depth as you progress into level 30, but more than that, their small stats means they have awful reach and their ranged attacks are particularly weak given they only throw short spears. Plus they're extremely boring. They can't talk at all so you'll effectively be travelling around Skyrim with a silent smurf who will potentially die in one hit as a companion. But potentially worse than the Reekling is a dog. Dogs are incredibly annoying and weak in game. For some reason they have hitboxes larger than themselves, meaning they're incredibly easy to hit accidentally during a fight, especially because they often jump into the way of your blows. But the worst thing about having a dog as a follower, even Barbus, is that you can't equip them with anything to enhance their already weak powers. They obviously have no range attacks and their bites are weaker than a normal attack with say a sword or a mace, making me question why anyone would ever have a dog as their primary follower. Although that being said, dogs often don't count as followers in game, so you can often have them alongside a normal follower, but even then I still wouldn't have a dog. Personally I'd say that I'd rather have a Reekling than a dog as a follower, because at least Reeklings are sort of funny, plus there are loads of them. 
Anyway, thanks for watching this video and please let me know which follower you think is the worst in Skyrim. I can already predict half a dozen people are going to say Lydia.